to my channel. Today I decided to do my very first version of a get ready with me. Today is a really special day for me because I'm becoming a godmother to a very very special boy that I love so so much and so I've got to get ready now. I've got to leave soon for the baptism so I thought I'd just film myself at least doing my makeup. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. It's not going to be the best video I've ever made because um, I'm not going to be looking at the camera heaps but of course I need to prime my pores. I'm using Benefit Professional. I just did my favorite face mask at the moment and it's, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the pink one by Origins. So good, so, so good. On the outside of my face, I'm using Pixi's Flawless Beauty Primer. It's kind of like a luminous primer, which I really like. But I don't want to bring that onto my pores because I just think it will make me look more porous. And I'm putting Put A Lid On It by The Balm as eyeshadow primer. And also a little bit down my smile lines. I'm getting a paddle foundation brush, which I haven't used in a while. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I got a um, sample Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk because as you know, I'm getting ready for my wedding and I'm testing a few things out. It's a bit light for me now because I tanned. I can warm it up. This is really beautiful though. I realized once I got the sample that I didn't ask a question and I should have, I had my app on me, um, about animal cruelty, how ethical this product is and um, once I did a bit of research unfortunately it's questionable so while I'm using the sample today I don't think I'll be purchasing a bottle. The problem with some companies is that they're just not very clear on their practices and I don't know if they're vague because they're dodgy or they're vague just because. It is a shame because this stuff is gorgeous. I can see that it's like seriously like putting just another soft layer of skin on my skin. I'm gonna go in and do my brows. So I've just gonna draw in some hairs with my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color. So I'm going in with my Catrice Eyebrow Set. I just love this stuff because the shades are so neutral. And I'm going in with the lighter one on a little angled brush. And just giving it a bit more shape. It's been a while since I've used powder in my brows. Then I'm just going to conceal underneath. I'm doing all the steps that I never do on a day that I'm in a hurry. That's smart. This is my favorite robe, by the way, and it's so funny because it's a cotton on body robe that I got at Christmas time. Only it's way too warm for summer, and obviously, Christmas in Australia is in summer, but it's got reindeer antlers so I love it but I'm kind of wearing reindeer antlers when it's irrelevant anyway just concealing under my eyes and I've got some beautiful spots this foundation is just just amazing when you're in a hurry, you do what you love, you do what you know. So I'm using Zoeva's Cocoa Blend, of course. Going in with Substitute for Love as a nice transition shade. And you know, I forgot I didn't powder my lids. And you can see that it's a little bit trickier to blend. It's not impossible, but it's just trickier to blend. You're going to go in with a bigger brush and just blend that all. I know this looks a bit silly. But I really want it nicely diffused. I'm going to go in with a sweeter end on a more fluffy brush. I don't usually do this, but I kind of don't want it like a shimmery lid. But I do want it. Oh, that's pretty. Just all over the lid. I'm not going to go crazy today. Right, 
that's it. And then I'm going in with Benza White and just thickening up the lash line. And then I'm not doing a wing, but I'm kind of just blurring it out so it elongates my eye a little bit. That's it. Then I'm going to go under my eye with a freshly toasted. Quickly curling my lashes, just slightly. Just a little coat of mascara. I do feel like some lashes today, but we'll see because I'm in a hurry. Then I'm going to highlight using Becca's Champagne Pop. I like to highlight before I bronze just because I think it makes the highlight kind of blend into my skin a bit more seamlessly rather than it being this crazy stripe of highlight which I'm not a fan of. The sun is on my face. Then just on a little brush I'm going to use Champagne Pop again on the inner corner. Oh my god, this light. So I'm using Stila Stale Day Bronzer in dark and I'm going to bronze the face. The face. Not my face, the face. Now that I've done my bronzing, I'm just going to go in with Pixie's Translucent Flawless Finishing powder and just dust that in my t-zone that's all so i've got my Me mecca cosmetica single flare false lashes i'm going in with peach blossom by mac on my lips and i think i could do with a little bit of blush so i'm gonna go in with corez in orange brown that's not the nicest is that what I want to do? Yes. I'm just going this Inoxa blush. I've never used it before. That's it. That's what I wanted. And this is the final look. So I decided just to chuck my hair back. I can just, there's some loose bits, but it's okay. I can just get it into like a squished in bun these days. I have to say this bloody Giorgio Armani so this is the little sample pot that they gave me. My skin feels like a better version of natural skin. I don't know how else to explain it, but this stuff is so beautiful that it just frustrates me that they're not really clear on animal testing and that kind of stuff. But you know, the lady at the counter at David Jones was really nice, she gave me a sample. And I was really curious about trying it as I've mentioned in another video that I will be doing my own wedding makeup. So if I can match this quality in something that's cruelty free, I will be so thrilled to bits. Like so thrilled to bits. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed getting with, getting with me. Ooh, getting ready with me. As I said, I'm going to be a godmother today and I'm super, super, super excited. I'm a, I have to go now. I'm on my way out. Please like this video if you did. Give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel for more videos like it and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!